Hey, this is Ocean K with a detailed look at the A14 sample and hold module. Now this is a, a very simple module, but it's actually really useful many, many times. So a sample and hold module takes in CV data and holds that signal at a constant rate until a gate trigger tells the module to resample the incoming CV signal and then hold it at that new level. Now, that might be a little confusing, so uh, let's actually hook it up and see how this works. Now, there's nothing to do on the front, so let's turn around the back, and we see we have three CV connections. We have a trigger in, a sample in, and a signal out. Now, what goes into the sample in uh, is whatever you want. I, I typically use either an LFO if I want some sort of pattern, or I'll use a random CV signal from the A11 noise generator. Um, but for now, let's use an LFO uh, just so we can try to hear some sort of sam uh, pattern. And so our sampled value will be a sine wave LFO. Now, in terms of what goes into the trigger, again, that can be any sort of uh, CV signal that you want, but it's a gate signal. And so I tend to use a square wave LFO just because I think that's sort of the easiest to see and easiest to understand. So we've got a second LFO here. Let's send the, uh, a square wave signal to our trigger. Now the signal that comes out of the sample and hold can be used for anything, anything where a, a CV signal can go in. Just for demonstration purposes, how about we send our, uh, we have a VCO which is a sine wave going directly to our mix channel and we have our sample and hold out go to the tune. So what's happening is that our sample sine wave is going up and down at a rate and our trigger, our square uh, LFO is triggering when the sample and hold module should resample whatever signal it's getting from our sine wave LFO. So we can see this square wave tr uh, trigger is matching this trigger here, and this out is whatever the sine wave LFO was at the time that the trigger was triggered for the first time. Uh, so every time the trigger is re triggered, a new sample is detected from our sine wave LFO and it's held constant until we get a new trigger. So that's why this is called a sample in hold. It samples a value and it holds it until we send a new gate to tell it to sample and hold a new value. So that's the A14 sample and hold, a very simple module but has a lot of application. Thanks for watching.